All right, good afternoon. We are talking about chapter 20 of To Kill a Mockingbird today, and we have several questions that we're going to talk about. So um, let me have a look at the question number one that you have is um, one of the characters, Raymond, sips Coca-Cola out of the paper bag. Why? Why would someone do that? <clears throat> Let's think about the first layer of interpretation um, of actually stating the facts of what actually is going on in the story. Um, the thing is that people who sip liquids out of um, Paper bags usually are alcoholics that do not want people to see what they're, they're drinking. Well, he is drinking Coca-Cola, so what is a big deal for people to be able to see what he's drinking? The thing is that he does not want people to see or understand his true nature. So he is hiding his true nature from people, which is actually a good um, good person that he's hiding and he reveals to the people the person that the people expect to see. So very often that happens to us in our lives as well when we are acting or showing to people our um, made-up personality, the one that we can call social self, the person that other people expect us to be. And uh, that was Raymond was doing. So your second question is supposed to um, talk about why did he decide to share it with Dill and Scout? Well, he noticed Dill's reaction at the court, if you remember, if you read the chapter, that Dill was feeling social injustice very strongly. And there is a possibility that um, the character, that Raymond understood that Dill is able to have a look at the whole world and see that whole world as it is. So very often people are talking about children seeing the world the way it actually is. And um, this is why Raymond chooses to share this information with Dill and Scout. Um, question number three is talking about Scout, how she, on the other hand, considers Raymond to be evil. So as far as I remember your question asks several sub questions in it whether he actually is evil or not and um well, of course the answer is not he is not an evil person he is a person that has a lot of challenges in his life and yet he um also challenges at the very end of the story, as many other characters did, um, Scout's understanding of personality. So Scout understands that different personalities, they have different um, appearances. So if a person appears as a negative person to you, it does not necessarily mean that you are absolutely right. And later on, Scout understands as she grows and matures throughout the book that those personalities, they tend to be um, different from what they appear um, at the first, uh, at first. Number four, Atticus's opinion about why Mayela accused Tom. This is very interesting. Um, Atticus explains that 
Mayela was acting as a child. Very often what children do is that children, they are accusing the victim. So whoever is a victim, you did something wrong to that person. But rather than taking responsibility for your own action, you are accusing the person and pointing the finger on that person that he or she did it. And Mayela, uh, being an immature person, did the same thing with Tom. It was Tom. And this is Eticus's perspective. And your last question, number five, is talking about um, one institution that Tom, be oh, sorry, one institution that Eticus believes that is able to equalize society. And of course, he refers to the institution of court. That's a um, good question that you can ponder upon, that you can um, share your own thoughts because everyone's opinion is different whether our court system is there yet, whether um, it is equal um, to all men and women of all ages and of different nationalities or not. So if you have an opinion, yes or no, make sure that you prove your perspective by examples. And I'm talking to the students in my class, to everyone who is watching and listening it. Um, I will try to attach the questions in the comments down below so you can have a look at them. And then you can just discuss them and also you can share your opinions in the comments down below and if you're new to my channel of course feel free to um, comment anything you want and we're always open for discussion and of course subscribe and share and make sure to um, press the button for the bell of notification so you can receive uh, the videos as they are uploaded or notifications about the videos all right, so have a wonderful afternoon and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.